she's it's not her. I'm sure it was the relationship. I'm sure it was two people not compatible for each other. Yeah. At the time, you know, and and people fall into this trap where they go, "Well, you know, I'm with them." I think it's just companionship. People just don't well, want to be alone. Well, they don't. A lot of times, they don't think that they're worthy of that. They can't find somebody else. Like, what if I can't find somebody else? So I don't I'll think that person exists to them. They don't. They believe that that person does not exist. That's an anomaly. You know, that mm. perfect person for them that's into, you know, the things that they're into or things that they're, they may be into. But, but what happens is well, more often than not when you, when, you know, I've, I do, when I do these consultations with dudes, they always talk about what they loved about the person when they love the person. And then none of those things are, are present in the, re, in the relationship now. Like, you, well, how, when's the last time she baked you cookies? When's the time, last time that you fuck in a bathroom? When did you, you know? But, yeah. just, but what happens is they, you, you, like you, you, I always say you gotta, you gotta, appra- you gotta uh, buy a house based on the appraisal, the present appraisal. You can't, you can't do what <laughs> like it was that. worth yeah. or per- prospectively what it will be worth. You got to get the appraisal for right now. And the long, and if you wait too long to buy the house, then you need to get another appraisal to see if, if, if to get the value. So I think we, 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 we wage that original value into something that doesn't even exist. We just remember how great it was. And then a lot of times you ask them, you know, when the last time that happened, they'll tell you six or seven years. Well, they can't remember the last yeah. time that they enjoyed each other's company. And the thing I think, uh, the other thing is it's, it's almost like I'm not happy. I want to go. And somebody goes, uh, and the ego goes, how dare you want to leave, want to leave me? Even if she don't like you, even if she wants yeah. to leave you, she's, it's still, how dare you? So it's the ego that stands in the way of like our, us really being honest about what makes us happy in the first place. Listen, it, it, it's, it's multi-layered, right? I mean, relationships are totally multi-layered. There has to be a sexual attraction layer. You got to get laid. Sure. Uh, if, it, it, I mean, and I think people downplay that tremendously, but that, that's a major factor. In a relationship, yeah, especially, sure. I mean, for guys and girls. You man school, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man.